here it is, the new Canon EOS M6 mirrorless. As always, if this video helps you out, remember to hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to the channel. And if you're ever in the Miami area, come say hello to Adam and I at Digital Goja Show. All right, so let's take a look and see what comes inside the box. Hopefully it isn't EOS M6 in here. First things, there is your instruction manual in three different languages, so you can brush up. And it even tells you you can download an electronic PDF version. Of course, warranty card, USA and Canada only, like it states it on there. And if it's purchased from an authorized dealer like Digital Goja. And it's even showing you how to put on their strap because, of course, they did change the mounting system for the M-Series cameras. And how to register it and to go online so you can take advantage of their online storage gateway. But let's take a look at what else comes in here. Of course, right on top, your LC17 wall ward charger, which is for the LPE17 battery. Universal voltage, 100 to 240 volts, but of course, purchase in the U.S., you are going to get the U.S. plug. Over here is, there is their new strap for the M-Series by Canon. Very important, so you can take it with you everywhere. And in the corner, hiding, is the LPE-17 battery. Very popular, it's used on many of their cameras on the market at the current and of course here is the 15 to 45 EF M series lens which is a fantastic wide angle zoom and last but definitely not least here is the EOS M6 nice and compact Wow, this is definitely something you could basically say it's a pocket camera by the time you put this together. So, let's take a closer look at the features of the new EOS M6. All right, so here's the new EOS M6. This is their newest in the lineup of M-series cameras. So, Canon is now starting to take mirrorless seriously. They're going to make sure that we have a good selection. This one comes, of course, with the 24.2 megapixel and it is an APS-C CMOS sensor. But now you have the new Digix 7 processor. So you have faster focusing. Of course, you have the dual pixel CMOS AF. You still have the full 1080p video at 60 frames per second. And this one has a beautiful 3-inch full-touch LCD screen. So notice that I can actually touch on the zooming area and I can touch where I want it to focus, and you can even use it to actually deploy the shutter. And of course, you can shoot up to nine frames per second due to the fact that you now have the new Digix 7 image processor at up to 25,600 ISO. So again, up to 17 frames in RAW, and now you have the five axis image stabilization when you combine it with the electronic and with the image stabilization on the lens. This one happens to be the 15 to 45 millimeter with image stabilization. So you get up to five axis stabilization combination of electronic image stabilization and the image stabilization on the optical lens. So if you are in the market for a mirrorless Canon that allows you to work with their new lineup of M-series lenses. And remember, you can also work with the EOS EF to M-series adapter with this. So if you have any existing EOS lenses right now, they will also function on this camera. You have to take a much closer look at the new EOS M6 mirrorless from Canon. Well, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If it did, Remember to hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future tutorials, frequently asked questions, and unboxings. And don't forget, if you're ever in Miami, come say hello at Digital Goja Showrooms. Happy shooting.